Is your news feed full of first day of school pictures from all of your family and friends? There is no denying that back to school is actually here. So on top of school supplies, parents need to think about treats for the kids, right? Izzy Hellip from Cakes for Causes is making that part easy for us. Everything else might be crazy, <laughs> but let's get the treat part down. Thank you for having us. Absolutely, yeah. and, and we're doing two, right? Yeah, so we're gonna have two, um, two types today. We're gonna have an easy granola bar and a banana sushi. So can we say these are tasty yet healthy? I would say they're on the healthier side yeah. um, compared to some of the treats that you could be making, yeah. Like some chips or something yeah. else that maybe, you know, you just throw out there and it's, it's empty calories. So the granola bar, I bet a lot of people say I don't want to do it because they think it's too, too hard to make it, but yeah. it's not right. Yeah, this one is three ingredients. Easy. And you don't have to bake it. And you don't have to bake it? Yeah, you just put it in the refrigerator until Oh, two hours. Yeah. Two hours. So this is something we could do in the morning, throw it in the fridge, and then by the time they're home from school, it's ready to go. Yeah. Perfect. What are the uh, three ingredients we have? All right. So um, it's an oatmeal. Mm -hmm. uh, so two and two thirds cup. Um, peanut butter. It's three quarters of a cup. And then about half a cup of honey um, is going to go in. Um, this will be the, sort of what's going to help bind everything and then also be the sweetener. So my two questions are, the peanut butter, do we need to do creamy or does that matter? Um, creamy is is what I had seen uh, most often in yeah. the recipes. Um, I would say be adventurous. Oh. Try crunchy if you like if you like to do that. Um, the ones that that I made before, those ones had chocolate chips in it. So oh, you can wow. you can do that. Also trail mix. Oh, trail mix. That's a great mm -hmm. idea. Uh, and with the oatmeal, is this just everyday regular like steel cut or? Uh, this is um, an old fashioned. Old fashioned. Um, yep. That's easy also. And like you said, be adventurous. So some chocolate chips, some trail mix in there. Um, how did you get them into bar formation? Did you just do it with your hands? Yeah. So once everything is mixed together, you'll put it into um, either a baking sheet or a pan like this. Okay. And then you'll just sort of press it down. And press it in yeah. so it kind of gets flat so we get the little bar. Yep. So I'm not going to fully push it in right now, but... So we're just going to yeah. get it into a nice even. And then when it comes out of the fridge, you said two hours. Yep, about and two. Then just yeah. cut them into little bars. Yep, and then you can just store them uh, in, in the refrigerator, either in the tray mm -hmm. um, after you've pre-cut them, or you can take them out after you cut them, put them into a Ziploc bag or something, and you can keep them that way. So the kids can just go in, grab the bar, and go. And go. Yep. Well, you, that's easy, because that's what all the parents say. They just want to take it and run around the house. Uh, so this is what they look like when they're all done. Yes. Uh, that was so easy. You literally just mixed it, threw it in there, threw it in the fridge. No excuses not to make this easy, uh, healthier snack for the kids. Now, I was really interested in the sushi thing yeah. because when you think sushi, you don't think bananas. Yeah. <laughs> At all. So this is kind of like a take on that. Yeah, yeah. So with this one, it's it's a rolled treat that you, you slice and it looks just like sushi would, except now you can have it and it's, it's a snack. It's and no it's longer a, a meal. Um, and the best part, hazelnut spread. Um, because it's my favorite. Because <laughs> Izzy said so. That's why we're going to do it with this yeah. one. And what are we starting with? What's our base? Yeah, so our base is a wheat tortilla. And we're just going to put a little bit down. So Thank you, ma'am. And so, again, wheat, or is there any other ones we can do? Um, I've only done wheat. Um, you can probably do a plain. Um, I would probably suggest not the spinach. <laughs> not the spinach. That's probably a good idea. Now, am I doing this over the whole tortilla? Uh, yeah, so you're going to cover as much as you can, maybe a quarter inch on, on the side, um, depending um, depending on how much time we have, how much patience. Um, well, I always overfill anything that I do, so I'm going to try to not do that in this case. And actually, both of these is, are recipes the kids can help us with. Yeah, so um, specifically with this one, um, the kids with a butter knife can go through and um, serve this with as much or as little as, as, as they like. You can use other types of nut butters as well. So peanut butter, um, oh. almond, cashew. Um, if there's an allergy, um, you, you can change it up. Okay, so we can, all of these, add a little of your own flavor. Yep. Whatever it may be. Okay, I think yours still always looks better than mine. This is gonna be okay. That's okay, yours has more hazelnut spread, so I, I think that one's I told better. You I always <laughs> overfill mine. I'm that person. Okay. Okay, so then once you have that, you're, you're going to peel the banana. Okay. And that's just going to go right on top. Now, when we 
in real life sushi, um, the rolling part is the important part. Yeah. Because you get messy. I'm, I'm gonna say this one doesn't matter quite as much. Okay. Um, but you're just going to sort of roll the banana and try to keep it as tight as possible, but your glue is going to be basically um, the hazelnut spread. And then once it's, it's all rolled, uh, we can put it onto our cutting board. And I would s say start until, uh, so wherever the banana is. Start there. Yep. And then you'll just do slices. And again, would you say maybe to hold it together, maybe put in little toothpicks or anything? Um, yeah, you, you could probably it. do a toothpick and that'll keep your, your banana. Yeah. So you can get 12 toothpicks and you can have space them out and evenly and then you would know. Yep. They could also just pick it up and go also. So this is the final product over here again. Uh, again, something easy and ready and set to go. Yes. Now these, we said the kids can kind of get involved to do all of this with us and you kind of take that idea one step further when you guys do your kids club, right? Yeah, so at, at, our, at our kids club events, we, we have the kids come out. We, um, We'll either have them uh, make something there or we'll have cupcakes ready and we'll turn those into something cool. So like um, on August 24th, we'll be making uh, cupcake hamburgers and oh. french fries. And french fries? And french fries. So you have a whole meal and it's all based off of a cupcake. And so they learn something and then they also get to eat what they're making. <laughs> yes. Yep. And then there's, um, there's also activities um, and arts and crafts that go with that. Wait, is this the picture of what they're going to be doing? Is this the hamburger yes. and the french fries? That yes. is amazing. Oh my gosh, and you guys do this once a month and you guys like to make it theme it up and do something cool yep. each time. Yeah, so every month there's gonna be a different um, idea um, and craft and food, uh, so yeah. Okay, so 10 year old me is totally like, already called, already like uh, in, in the club already. I'm gonna remind the parents how to get involved uh, with the kids club, but thank you so much for yeah, making both you. of these. Yeah. This was awesome. The next kids club event is on August 24th at 615. You can register your child at cakesforcauses.org. Also give them a call at 303-7893 with any of your questions.